Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to discuss about three-way handshake or connection method on a local area network From the previous time, we already discussed about the Ethernet technology and also physical and logical address And for now, we will discuss about how the packet data is sending to the destination through the connection it means the connection method on a connection or a network okay let's see this picture this is the connection method on local area network or on a network the name is three-way handshake it means the process of communication between devices over the internet happens according to the current tcp ip suite model so in this picture we know that there are three types or three steps in the three-way handshake For example, in this simulation or in this connection, when the PC1 will send a packet data to PC3 in the different one, so the PC1 to communicate to the PC3 first before sending a message to PC3. This connection method is called by three-way handshake. Let's see the picture more complete for three-way handshake process. Step 1. SYN or synchronize. In the first step, the client wants to establish a connection with the server. So, it sends a segment with SYN or synchronized sequence number, which informs the server that the client is likely to start communication and with what sequence number it starts segment with. From this simulation, so the PC1 as the sender of packet data will send SYN or synchronize to the PC3 first and then the step 2 SYN and ACK server responds to the client request with SYN ACK sign out bits set ACK or acknowledgement signifies the response of the segment it received and SYN signifies with what sequence number it is likely to start segment with. So, after the PC3 as the receiver of packet data is getting SYN from the PC1, so the PC3 will send back the SYN to the PC1 and also send the AC key to the PC1. And then we go to the step 3 or AC key. In the final part, client acknowledge the response of the server and they put establish a reliable connection with which they will start the actual data transfer. After the PC1 cut the SYN pack and also AC key from the PC3 as the receiver of packet data, the PC1 will answer of the PC3 by sending AC key back to the PC3 as the receiver of packet data. So, if all of the segment already sent from PC1 and PC3 
and also from VC3 to VC1 their connection will be established and the packet data is ready to send to the VC3 that's the explanation of three-way handshake in a connection